should I marry a single mother? It says, if you're a weak man, you should never marry a woman, period. <laughs> you should marry a virgin. It's a little contradictory. If you're strong, red pill, maybe you can do whatever. I have a lot of friends. <laughs> Hi. You're probably wondering how I got here. Probably here because you've seen me make Twitter bots. Um, I don't know. I've been doing a ton of stuff, like lots of LLM agents, web scraping, some React stuff. But today, I'm going to do something a little, <laughs> a little different. It's still in the AI world because we're going to be fine tuning a language model, but we're going to be making something interesting. We're going to be making something that I'm calling base GPT. And you're like, what's base to me? You know, like all those things you think that like you can't say because HR will like give you a call. We're going to we're going to train an AI to say all those things. And you're like, what, what are all the things you can't say at work? Use your imagination. So I'm going to train it on some comedians like Patrice, O'Neill. Um, so I like to do comedians. Before I like even get into that, let's get into how we're going to do this. We're going to be scraping a ton of podcasts, the, the transcripts. And the way we're going to do that is, and I already have some, uh, is we're going to be reading, downloading uh, the audio files and using Whisper to convert these audio, using the audio files and then convert these audio files to text so whisper is like open a open ai's thing for converting audio to text so we're going to be building up a data set that's question and answer based so we want to convert podcast audio to question and answer pairs so really i want to find a way to do some string parsing so we can find out all the stuff after the questions and kind of group those up and just assume that if something, someone asks, asks a question, someone answered it. We want to get multiple people on these podcasts and we want to find a way to, um, to get, to see if to detect whether there's multiple people on the podcast. Yeah, I think we could do it with this. So diarization, is like parsing the different speakers from, uh, We'll, we'll play around with some different things. We'll see if we can really do it. But the pipeline is we get our based audio, convert it to transcripts, and convert this to a question answer. It doesn't need to be an answer, but it's just more of a question response. Like, uh, you know, initial thing. <laughs> uh, I'll just do question and answer to make it simple. We'll just convert this into a question answer data set. And then, so like, and then after we get that question answer data set, we're going to fine tune Llama 2, the, the regular Llama 2, so the non chat. Llama 2 to utilize this data set. Peterson, uh, Tate, I, I'm not really a huge fan of it, but so the first thing we want to do, so actually first things first, let's create a notebook. I'm going to copy the, because we're doing the same fine tuning that the 10X job better is doing pretty much. Let's just save a copy of this to our drive. So first we're going to use, uh, Download the YouTube video. Whispers, what we're going to do, they do the, the speech to text. YTDLP, we're going to download the YouTube videos like this. And, and if you want to make, train a model or get podcast information and do interesting stuff with it, this is the video for you. Let's, all right, let's download this. Nice. Okay. 
So we're getting the wave of this interview and it, is it fine? Okay, it's gonna go into download.wave. So in the meantime, let's look at this tutorial on how to do the diarization, and try to figure this out. So speaker segmentation, cool. So we gotta install this thing. Okay, it looks like the way this diarization thing works is we pass it the audio file and it gives us the timestamps of the segments. And later on, we're gonna have to segment all these and then pass each of these segments, which I'm sure the tutorial is gonna tell us. Um, we're gonna pass all these segments to Whisper. So now let's run this. So let's see if this actually loads now. No, it doesn't. So it looks like my version, my current version of a uh, torch in here is incompatible with torch text. Super random issue. All right, cool, cool, cool. There's a lot of speakers here. Is that the whole video? Oh, I'm only getting the first 10, that's why. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. I think speaker three is Patrice. Okay, the first guy, speaker seven is not Patrice. Hold on. It's the other guy. It's Opie, I think. Um, can we just start on a Tate one? It's It'll be way easier to parse the audio. What, it's... Yeah, let's just start on a Tate one. Let's do this one and let's cut this one. Let's only get the first hour because the whisper is going to take a lot. Ah, uh, no, let's do the whole interview. Okay. Because the, the Python diarization, was way faster than I thought. Let's start with this one. It's so long. Well, we'll let's start with uh, the first, let's do the whole thing with the first hour, just so we can make it quick and um, let's go through the whole pipeline. So let's loop through this. We're running, we're running the tape one through the pipeline. We're gonna have a file called. Oh wait, hold on. Let's stop. Let's stop this. We need to organize this better. Underscore diarization rotation dot text. And that should clean that up. So we're, we're just rewriting this this code. The uh, I really enjoy your schemology lives with Jack. Nice tech law. And anyone else, if you're interested in a cool podcast, yeah, subscribe to Schemology. I should I just added it to the description in the video. Jack and I, 7 p.m. Tuesday and Friday, we just like hang out. We talk about schemes, uh, tech. It's a, it's a tech bro hangout session. So we're going to be, so it's cleaning this one. Nice, nice. So that worked. By the way, this is all, the, I got this from this uh, whisper diarization tutorial. Zero, we're just like saying, we're just, or, we're organizing this a little bit. Cool. So let's run this for each of the files. So we'll say four, same thing. Um, for all of the diarizations, we just we just, we have the segments, and we have the speakers. The pi the piterization thing or whatever is working. All we need to do is is we want to find the speaker that we that we want. All right, <clears throat> we got to write this algorithm here. All right, so the first thing we need to do here is we need to read. So we get a segment for get all the segments for the guy, for the the based guy. Loop th loop through each speaker until you hit. A segment conflicting with the based guy. Then add a question answering pair for everything leading, or well, first off, 
turn each segment into audio. Each relevant segment in the audio. No, into uh, text. What am I saying? All right. Is this what we want? So it's false when it's Tate, and it's true when it's someone else. Okay. Now, the way this works is we pass in this whole thing with the diarizations and the file name. And we need to open up this file. We need to keep splitting it based on these things. And we need to say, we need to get a whole question, answer, pairs, array. That's like question, comma, answer. We're going to split it. So this is where we have to do a loop. So we loop through our diarization, to force segment info in diarization. So let's actually, let's say if zero, so, so this is the start. So the start time equals diarization, or segment info zero. The end time is segment info one. And is not Tate equals, well, we won't say Tate, is not based guy. And we're going to say use the key question if is not based guy, else use answer. Get the audio that we defined up here before you watch. Yeah, nice. Okay, what's the answer? They could do, this is you answer. Oh, it's messed up. Any man watching this, I wake up, cause that's when they raid your house. Empires have fallen so many times because they get away. Uh, the pairings are messed up, but it's doing it, but the pairings are messed up. All right, this is our prompts. We're ready. We can start fine too. It's gonna, this is gonna suck. But I just want to do one, a few forward passes. So let's do this. Data set equals this. Let's do this. All right. We're training our model. It's going to just sound like Andrew Tate. I want it to be like more people than just Tate. But I'm showing you the framework for how, like, we can ramp this up. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't just need to be one interview with Tate. You know, we can, we can make this... A ton of base Alex Jones, blah, blah, blah. We're going to add more people. Base GPT question. What do you think about dating single moms? I don't know. Like something that Tay would talk about, right? And then base. It's not going to be good. So don't think that this is just going to be good. I'm just te testing this out. It's a complicated scenario. It depends. If it's not my child, but if it's somebody else... I'm not in this scenario, then I'm not as much. It's a difficult position. All right. What do you think about young men watching porn or something like that? I'm trying to get things that they, they talk about in the video. So then they're, then they're going to have problems because they're a coward. Wow. That's intense. I'm getting off topic a little bit. I want to have the link to the topic of how deep to digging in, into it. But really, I am on the idea that you can be as good as those. Okay, it's not saying anything. Let's try giving it instructions. A couple things. A couple things we need to do. A couple things we need to do. Um, I like that it's co It's like speaking, but it's not based yet. I'm going to call them a coward. A couple things we need to do. One, we need to... Try doing instructions. We need to try. No, no, we're not doing instructions. We need to train more. We need to get better data. We need to get more data. Because it just doesn't have a lot of data. Let's see. Are you think starting a cam girl business is a good idea? No, I think it's a great idea if you're already in a relationship, but not but not in a relationship. But you're not in a relationship. 
Okay, so the bot thinks the cam girl business is good if you're already in a relationship. So this is a bit of a chaotic bot. I don't know. It's very. I know it seems that seemed like really shitty, but you can tell that it did learn how it did like kind of read the question a little bit. Um, it got. It didn't get a, t a l like a lot of it right. It, it doesn't know the cam thing, and um, there's a lot not there. Hundred percent. Honestly, yeah, well, yeah. Let's do this fresh and fit, Zerko. All right, so run this and then let's run this let's get the tokenizer so i asked base gpt whether starting a cam girl business is a good idea so this, it depends on what your goal is like if you're wanting to sleep with some girl and you're a little insecure about it right <laughs> okay well, let's do something else let's say what do you think about marrying a divorced single mom of thought. <laughs> he just says, I have a problem with them. <laughs> so that one was messed up. The other one, it actually gave, it was like weird, kind of a little weird, but like for sort of coherent answers. It says, what's well, the problem if a girl's been with a lot of men? And then it says, yeah, so I, wa I used to watch porn before, but I never looked at it at this level. That's not related. Interesting. Do you think porn is degenerate? Degenerate. I'll give it an instruction, even though I don't know if the if this does good instructions. Your role is a is a honest and straightforward question answering bot. And then, so let, let's give it, so let's see if Llama's smart enough. And it says, to like, actually answer this question. 100%, you're watching a woman who is not you. There are not women's lips and eyes and hair. The most feminine things, the most feminine things about her are good. She didn't even make you feel comfortable. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, it's because, wait, this is good. I mean, it's not a great answer. What do you think God's role in the home is? He said he's not playing the game at all. Look at how many men are cheating. Look at the divorce rate. The divorce rate is insane. They don't care because she's been dick is in her. <laughs> That's a pretty good answer. Because it was like asking what God's role in the home is. And it was like, he's not in the home. Like. People are cheating and everything. I mean, it wasn't perfect, but this is kind of cool. Um, okay. Should I marry a single mother? Run the prompt. It says, if you're a weak man, you should never marry a woman, period. <laughs> you should marry a virgin. It's a little contradictory. If you're strong, red pill, maybe you can do whatever. I have a lot of friends. <laughs> Dude, this is great. Ask him something you should agree with. Do you think I should only date virgins? He says, if you want a healthy relationship, absolutely. You want someone who you're looking for, going to be the most important person in your life. The most important person in your life is not a virgin. <laughs> Uh, the most important thing in a relationship is respect. Yeah, now that doesn't mean you know. Okay, and I stopped at that point. All right, that's it. Like, subscribe, join the Discord. There's many, many more of these coming. Many, many more of these coming.